Hello, hello, and welcome to Games Revisited. It is episode 21, and we're continuing our playthrough of Chrono Trigger. We've been scaling the... Donato... The Donato? Donato Mountains. It helps when I have the uh, the actual name right in front of me, and uh, I, I kind of forgot to put that in front of me. And we are looking for... Well, we saw the kid run away... And there's supposed to be the legendary Mazamun at the top of this. And we're going to go bloody their nose and prove ourselves worthier or something like that. Um, so far, it's been... <laughs> yeah, I, I haven't been able to manage the time to stop at just the right spots like I did last week. But uh, I don't know. I kind of like it better this way, maybe. Let me know what you think in the comments. A little more suspense... We'll see. So far, so good. We'll see if I can make it the rest of the day. As I mentioned at the top of the stream over in episode 19, I am feeling a little under the weather. Um, now, the other thing that I might want to do... All right, that goes back to where we were. The other thing I might want to do is uh, swap out Marley just so I can get her some XP. But, um, yeah... Yeah, we're not there yet. Oop. Give me shelter. All right, let's do this. Lero? No, wrong meme. Okay, these guys should be easy. I don't see any hammers among them. Oh, yep. Yeah. <laughs> Matter of fact, I wonder if regular uh, regular attacks ought to, will be enough to take care of them. Yeah, there we go. Okay. Let's not waste the magic points just yet, because I know we got to be getting close to uh, Mazamun. Um, my map is a little too glossy. <laughs> I, I think um, I think this weekend I might take the time to scan it into a PDF, and that way, uh, and that way, oh, is that? No, I think this is the cave. Yeah, this is probably the cave. All right, let's do this. And then, uh, and then I'll talk. I'm the wind! Whoosh! Hey, don't go up there. Did you come to take it? The Mazamun, I mean? Why, yes I did. I thought so. Wait just a second, alright. Oh, big brother. Where are you, Maza? What is it, Moon? Not again. So, thought you'd make a name for yourself as hero by grabbing the Mazamoon, did you? What a buffoon. Humans are all the same, aren't they? It's how you use the sword that's important. Not just that you have the strongest one. Although having the strongest one helps, let's be honest here. You can't even understand something as simple as that. I guess that proves you're human. What should we do? The usual. Test them. Might as well give them a chance to entertain us for a while. All right, here we go. Whoosh. All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to try to double down on one of them and and see if we can't, because uh, they have a nasty dual tech. Um, and so the sooner we can take out one of them, the quicker this might go. Maybe. Hopefully. Oh, that's right, because we're going to do the counterattack thing. Combo, fire sword. Yeah, that's the... There we go. Tech, robo tackle. Bam. Oh, there we go. Not bad. Chrono's le Chrono even got a level out of it. Nice. Hey, Masa, these ones are pretty tough. No one's lasted this long since Cyrus. What should we do? Uh-oh. We fight them for real, of course. Wait, for real? All right, this is it. No more games. I didn't think we were playing uh, games, but okay. With Masa's bravery and Moon's brains, they become the Wonder Twins. Oh, wait, no. Um, <laughs> wrong property. Big and ugly, apparently. Okay. 
So we'll let those guys do fire punch. And I'm actually just going to have him go ahead and do wind slash. Because that cuts down some of the other stuff that's going to come up. You know what? Maybe I should have turned off the counterattack. Ooh, especially since I need to do a quick heal beam next go around. Alright, combo. Oh! <laughs> That's right. He doesn't have the uh oh. Oh my. Cure beam. Chrono. Combo. Wind slash. Tech. Napalm. That'll work. Bam. Ow. Ow. Combo. Fire. Punch. Tech. Wind slash. Bam. So far, so good. Except for the part where Luca's getting her butt kicked. Cure beam. Luca. Combo. Ooh. Um. Combo. Wind slash. Combo. Fire punch. Because every time, every time you see it, it says whirlwind energy gathered. That means he's got a nasty counter if you do anything other than a whirlwind slash. Or wind slash or whatever the whatever it's called now. Alright, let's go. Combo. Wind slash. Combo. Cure beam. Luca again. Tech. Napalm. Bam! Get him! Alright, let's uh... Wind Slash just in case. Combo! Ooh, no, 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 no. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and do... Fire! Tech! Cure Beam! And get that on Chrono. I didn't realize he was getting that low. I always struggle with that when I stream. Alright, Wind Slash... Now we can do the fire punch. Bam! Done! And we lived. <laughs> I don't know why, but I'm always a little surprised at that one too. That probably would have been easier if we were higher than level 18, but again, I wanted to make sure that Sepiko, uh, we get a chance to see all the forms that from the koala on up. Oh, they beat us, Masa. That was fun. Do you think they'll fix us? Will they find our proper owner? Yes, it'll be all right. Wait, fix us? Oh yeah, that's right. We're going to find out that the sword is busted. Oh. This sword is the legendary Mazamun. Its appearance would indicate that a great deal of time has passed since it was broken. Obtained the broken Mazamun. Allow me, we'll ride the wind to the base of the mountain. Good luck to you. We. <laughs> Nice. Okay. First stop, we've got to head over to the kid's house. No, not the inn. Not the market. There we go. For, forgive me. Truth be told, I plucked this badge from the floor of the tavern. 
Some besotted, froggish fellow dropped it as he stumbled out. I thought to sell it, see, but then everyone started calling me the hero when they saw it, and, well, I didn't know what to do but to go along with it. <gasps> but it's too much for me, this hero business. I've had enough. Here, you can have the badge. Oh, what was I thinking? I knew it'd turn out to be something like this. I ought to have seen it sooner. There, there is a special ending where if you, uh, if you finish at the right time, you'll see Tata going after, uh, after Magus in the end credits. It's glorious. <laughs> Listen to him. And who does he think was going around bragging to everyone that he raised a hero? Oh, letting myself get all swept up when I should have been looking out for my boy. Well, from now on... I'll make sure both of our feet stay on the ground for his dear departed mum's sake. You know, there are times when this gets oddly British. And I don't know what to make of it. Worry not, he's my grandson. He won't let a little thing like this spell the end to his great deeds. He told me already, his next goal is to become the legendary Sea Captain Bluebeard. Ha <laughs> ha. Oh. All right. Well, I guess while we're here, now we'll, we'll skip the uh, running around town. Although we will do that maybe next go around. What I want to do now is I want to hurry up and try to sneak. Ah, uh, all right, fine. We ain't sneaking this time. I just wanted to hurt the snake, not kill him. Come on, finish that froggy off. Without the acid rain. Bam. Done. 78 XP, 4 tech, 360 gold. Well, that is the nice side to all this. We are at least getting the gold. Alright, Monsieur Frog. Frog. No, you've returned. That, that badge. I see. So you met the lad. But there's not a thing I can do against the Fiend Lord. To fight him would require the legendary Mazumun, which is... No, it matters little. Even had I the blade, I've no right to wield it. Please leave me be. What's in here? A broken sword hilt. This is part of the Mazamun. Something is written in archaic script. I will attempt to decipher it. Rahuklam? No! Melkor! Error, I reversed the order. <laughs> that guy from Medina? No, it couldn't be. There are none alive who could mend the Mazamun. Dude, come on. I guess I don't get him in the party just yet. For some reason I thought I thought you got him by this point. I guess I was wrong about that one. Alright, come on. Uh, zip through. Uh, there we go. Just made it. All right. So we need to get back to Medina Village in the year one thousand. <laughs> so that way we can talk to Melkor and get this repaired. And I think that's when he sends us back to the past, which is where we're going to want to be to grind up some levels between now and the next go round, anyway. So let's uh, skippity do over to our gate room. Oh. No, we're going to have one fight. Guys, you really don't want this. Because this is about to go bad. You were my level many levels ago. Oh man, I got cold. Nothing more sad than cold tea.
Well, when it's supposed to be hot tea anyway. All right. To the end of time. All right, and we're going to do two things here. Three things. We're going to go here. We're going to go to the magical doodad that heals our hit points and magic points. We're going to go to the party. Actually, oh, keep it button. All right, so Chrono is currently at level 20. That means Sepiko is going to be over at his next level, and we are under-leveled for that. Because remember, that fight's designed to deal you from 20 to 29, so we'll skip that for the moment. Uh, Luca is almost at level 20. Robo is almost at level 20. Marley is a long ways away. I'm going to need either Luca or Robo anyway. So let's go ahead and let's switch out Robo and Marley. That way we've still got a healer and we'll keep Luca for the next little bit. But first, go ahead and save. All right. Oh, let's talk to him. Sometimes he says hopeful things. Come and see me whenever you have the need. Uh, yeah. Thank you, thank you, thank you. All right, what is this it? Medina Village, 1000 AD. Yep. Bam! Off through the trippy time portal. <laughs> Hello. We come from Narnia. Why is there magic in you? Magic using humans were supposed to have died out long ago. <gasps> oh, really? Medina is a village of fiends founded by our ancestors when they lost their war. Yada yada. The grudges still hold true. We're going to skip the rest of the town because we haven't done anything that would change that just yet. And to Melkor's cabin. Hello, good sir. Oh, you're back again. Come to see my... The sword. It's the Mazamun. How did you get this? Why would your name be engraved on that sword? <laughs> that is a very long story. But that is the story you came to hear, is it not? Of course, tell us about the Mazamun. Can you reforge it? I could, were it possible for us to get our hands on some of the Dreamstone from which the sword was made. Dreamstone? Where can we get that? It's nowhere to be found anymore. It was a glittering red stone, once valued even more than gold. Unfortunately, that was long, long ago. Longer than even longer even than you could imagine. Well, let us just say I doubt you'll ever find any. But if you should, I'll be more than happy to repair the Mazamun. Keep it with you until then. So would you like to buy anything? Alright, you got anything worth buying? Uh, Curves and Blades, what I got. Bandit's Bows, what she got. Plasma Guns, what she got. The Hammer Arm is a downgrade. Titanium Vest is a downgrade. Um, I already got 20 Shelters. 15 Panaceas. Uh, I've already got 18 Mid Potions and 22 Potions, so we'll skip that. But we should have a couple items to sell. Like that Iron Helm. That can go away. That hammer arm, that can go away. The rest of that stuff we're keeping. Alright. So, back to the past, huh? Like, 60 whatever thousand BC? Was that the residence? No. Oh, no, not the elder's house. I guess that was the residence. Yep. Back into the magic wardrobe we go. I swear somebody had read Narnia. Alright. Nope, I don't want to go to Banger Dome. I want to go to... I kind of wish they'd left signs on these things. Go to the Mystic Mountains, 65 million BC. That is where we're going to switch to the credits. 
And I'm going to say thank you for joining along so far. If you're watching live on Twitch or Mixer, hang tight. There's still more to come. If you want to watch live, there I stream on Thursdays at 6 p.m. U.S. Eastern, and there's a link in the description below. If you haven't already, make sure you follow on Twitch or Mixer to get notified when I go live. And definitely, definitely subscribe to the YouTube channel if you haven't already. It helps the channel out, and you'll get notified when new episodes and other content get posted. Live folks, give me a minute to prep the next episode. YouTube folks, I'll see you tomorrow. <laughs>